Hi guys, so we are going to do a DIY project. I am here with my cousin, Ashley. Hello. And she's actually thinking about doing her own YouTube channel too, so I'm helping her and she's helping me today. So we're making our own soap and the soap base today that we're gonna use is going to be shea butter. Yes, but there are many other different types of uh, soap base. I prefer shea butter because it helps with dryness of your hands and whatever else you want to put the soap on. Don't worry about making a mess while you're doing this because let's face it, it's soap. Any mess you make can easily be cleaned up. Yeah. So your soap base it comes into a package like this. You cut half of it off and you use just a little bit of it because a little bit goes a long way. And you can either cut the chunks in half or you can cut them down smaller to where they melt. So what you're going to have to do is have a pot of water full to either a quarter or a third full and when it starts to boiling you place the bowl of your soap base over top and wait for it to melt. Tin foil? In four. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for our second run of soap. So we're going to cut some more chunks of the soap base. And this is actually a very sticky textured soap base, but that should even out once you put your fragrance and your essential oils in there, color and all that stuff. And the next thing you do is to give it a quick stir to see if it's melted and to see how far along you have to go. From there, after you get it to a liquid base, make sure all the chunks are out. And if there's still any chunks, then you have to wait for it to melt completely. And then you will add your color and your fragrance to it. Once it's done and all melted, you take it off the pot and bring it over to the counter and add your special soap coloring to it. And you can add as much as you like, depending on how dark or how light you want your color. Stir it up. Isn't it pretty? Gorgeous. It almost looks like purple milk. Instead of strawberry milk, it would be lavender milk. And next, you want to add your fragrance to it. A few drops will do. A little goes a long way. You don't want to overpower. Especially with something as strong as lavender, which is what I'm using. You carefully move the bowl because I'm sure it's still hot. Oh, it's very hot. And you pour it in. Me, if I did this, I'd be making a mess. Oh, I'm highly impressed that I haven't yet. I know. And you fill them to the top, right? Well, the thing with soap is, unlike ice, which expands, soap shrinks. So if you have a little bit going over the top of the mold, it'll generally get pulled down into the mold. Good to know. Soap, you can actually get it to set faster by sticking it in the freezer. Most people don't know that. So set it on a plate and go to the freezer or the refrigerator, whichever you want. And there you go, guys. A DIY on how to make hand soap. And I hope y'all liked it and have fun making it. And if you do make it, leave comments down below and let me know what fragrance you used and what, what color did you make it. Yeah, and what kind of soap did you use? Thanks, guys. As always, thanks for watching. And remember to hit that subscription button if you want to see more like these. Bye! Bye!